the oak floor is water popped, allowed to dry out so that the stain will absorb evenly. The product can be applied using a stainless steel spatula, it can be applied using a roller allowed to soak in and then buffed away or just simply using the buffing machine and the centre of a beige or a white floor pad. The edges can then be cleaned uh, and the excess removed using a uh, white pad or just the flex pad that you see there in the picture. Once applied, the excess oil is removed using a buffing machine and tan floor pad just to make sure that the product is evenly applied and no excess remains on the surface. Uh, the final application can be gone over with a, an oil cloth um, just to make sure that all of the excess is removed and the product is allowed to dry overnight. The previous colour was antique oak, now we're going to use the black. Same method as before, um, just basically this time using the pad to apply. By using the buffing machine, the product applies very evenly. Uh, obviously you're not on your hands and knees, much easier to apply. Um, very, very good for awkward pattern floors as well. Uh, obviously this method avoids overlap marks, stop start marks, um, and removes the excess at the same time during application. All you need to do is lift back the buffing machine, pour some more oil into the middle of the pad, and off you go again, taking care not to over apply oil or oversaturate the pad. Again with this product you have a long working time, so ideal for larger areas. No worry about the product drying out or going back over and leaving overlap marks. This time we're using the grey. Again, using the buffing machine method. The other benefit of this product is the ability to get two different colours, dependent on whether you water pop or not. Water popping is great in terms of allowing the product to penetrate deeply and also to make sure that you apply the product evenly. But if you're just looking for a subtle tone, then not water popping and just applying it to the sanded board will give you a totally different finish, much paler, much lighter. The product can also be used to stain beech and other white timbers. Obviously produces a different effect, but with difficult to stain products like beech and maples, these products are well worth considering. As you can see here, the difference between the beech and the oak is quite distinct. Some like it, some loathe it, it's up to you.
And here the final product to show you is the white. Again, using the buffing machine and a beige pad. Obviously, as you can see, these are test floors, so um, do have a lot of splits and damage and other bits and pieces, but hopefully gives you a good representation of how the product looks and how it goes and how it applies. Um, as you can see, again, the white works really, really well, gives a very nice lime washed effect. Um, perfect if someone's looking to lighten the floor and really give it a Scandinavian look. Finally there, just from getting into the corners and the difficult to reach places with a triangular white pad. And then obviously we'll remove the excess, polish it off with a cloth just to blend it all together. So finally, we're going to polish off the excess with a cloth, very important with white, with it being such a thick pigment, just to remove the excess and make sure the floor is nice and even. We'll obviously go around with a cloth on the edges.